Hello and welcome, cowards and friends, to uh, Alpha Wit Thursdays. Um, I am still wit, despite all of my best efforts, and I am joined as always by Alpha. And he sounds yep. like this. Yeah, fuck you, Twitch, for having a problem with the word cowards. We had a little but... trouble um, with our uh, stream title, but I've been calling it Subnautica for cowards since before cowards was apparently a word they didn't like. Fucking spineless son of a bitch. Yeah, if they have a pro problem with the word cowards, they should hear some of the stuff coming out of our mouths. Um, I would like to be the kind of person who has beaten Subnautica Belezio. But Do I'm you? also... Yes. That is something that I would like. But I also am the kind of person who um, gets real scared about it. Um, and so I... Is that why you called it what you call it? Yes. Um, oh, birds at your giant. Oh, Jesus. B. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, that's not allowed. Wait, I love, wait. I love the reaction that just came in. B and just started talking. Looking, wait. Girls looking up. And I, she, I didn't know she had signed in because Discord has streamer mode where you don't hear anybody enter, and she just started speaking, and I was startled. Oh yeah, I did my fucking slasher movie villain thing. You really did just bust down the door. I like that I think Alpha said... That was my wife. She said, you becoming a terror of the deep has just made you more attractive to me. Aww. So wholesome. My wife's... Alpha just name drop you in there, and then you're like, yeah, I would like that too, but... <laughs> She's just real thirsty. I you're didn't... real thirsty. That, was, that one was my wife. It's, well, I... as, it, as it happens, there's lots of water here. And not a drop to drink. Um... Not with that attitude. <laughs> Also, incidentally, is Kuro without pants? No, she's totally got pants on. Uh, unless my eyes are playing tricks on when she was approaching. No, they sure look like bare. Le oh, okay. No, it's they're like olive colored, and the room's not super well lit. But yes, uh, indeed. Yeah, my um, auto light lighting on my uh, webcam is doing some weird stuff, and I'm not quite sure why. But anyway, uh, uh. Um, let's let's get into the game. Uh, v, will you be joining us for long, or are you already left like a uh, a ghost in the night? No, I'm probably gonna be here till then. Oh damn! Okay, uh, excellent. You really do like laughing at my suffering, so I'll do my best to suffer. Well, I mean, it's half me. it's half that I love watching you suffer, and half that I'm just not streaming today. So yeah, take the night off. Um, let's see what well, comes in. Ooh, ooh. We I have did weird shit with scheduling, so. Oh. Uh. So it turns out we have none save files. Um, which is none fine. None save files, left beef. Yeah, none save files, left um, penguin. And that means <sighs> the early game's a little slow, but. Um... Do I need to pull out the trivia? Hopefully it's not that slow. Okay. Um. I wonder what I wonder what penguins taste like. I'm. T I feel like I have heard that they taste a lot like fish because of their diet, but I'm not sure that that was about penguins or not about something else. I know a way to find out. Um. I hope your answer is Google it. <laughs> And not break into our local aquarium. Oh no, I would never I would never steal from an aquarium. I'm proposing go to Antarctica and cook one there. Um over so an what, open fire. What's the any button? Good luck finding wood for fuel. I um, have wood, thank you. But the any button is uh, it's on the back of the keyboard. <laughs> You have, to, uh, you have to smash it into a wall lay, in order lay to make your, it work. Lay your face down gently against the keyboard. And roll it along. See yeah. I would do that if it wouldn't be so terrible on my microphone. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> uh, pick one of the more exotic keys that I never touch. 
just to. Oh, oh right. I can take you, you, on you, you space have a headset and not a sure fucking nightmarish gimbal setup like everything. I have. It is to me. I mean. And Sam, I need to know what happened. Those can the get you some storm. really great sound I quality. I can use recover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> this is a little important. I, I, I'll find I'm my way back. This is all going fine. I mean, this is just another Thursday in space. So yeah. Approaching 45, 46 speed. Surface temperature is. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Um. Why are we entering the Quinarian polar ice cap? Because Thursday. Yeah. Hey, your crotch is smoking. I think we're not on fire. Oh, shit. I lied, really? we're on fire. I think we're not on fire! And it turns around and everything is on top of fire. Not everything, just a couple of important things. Most of everything is on fire. See, we're already halfway there. Now we just gotta find a penguin and cook it. Enjoy your stay. Oh! It's still on fire, we can still cook. <laughs> yeah. So a little while before you start freezing to death. Oh, that's a good point. Thank you for reminding me that I do, in fact, uh, have a temperature gauge while I'm on land. Is there any? Can I harvest these? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, but I know that you guys produce warmth. It's pretty neat. Smokes. That did not go as planned. <laughs> I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Can I take one of those fluorescent petals and wipe my ass with it? Uh probably not. I mean I don't see anything else with which to wipe my ass. I after mean shit. you can do anything once, whether or not you survive. I just don't know if you'd be able to get it all the way to the butt. Not with that attitude. Besides, if it gets too hot, if it gets too hot, I can just stick my ass in the water. I'm more worried about your hand. Oh, leave my hand to me. <laughs> I see very little has changed ever since I departed to pursue my own endeavors. <laughs> yeah, it's all been kind of what it's been around here. Beach? It is. It Give is what fish. it is. That's all it'll ever be. Give me that fish. Okay, those are a little too fast for me to catch by hand. Get a gulp of air. Those are the penguins. They are. Can I? Can I ask you a silly question? Um, I bet you will. Your food gauge is at less than half. E you're holding, you're holding perfectly edible food. Um, I would like to cook it first. Why? Um. It's not wet when it's cooked. Not usually, anyway. Who likes to pretend that she's civilized? I don't- <laughs> You're civilized. Like, I believe this is a white fish. Oxygen. Um, and I don't like raw white fish. I'm a red fish kind of girl. If you're civilized, what are you doing on this show? <sighs> uh, I ask myself that every Thursday. Excellent. For the record, yes. Mm. the fucking thing that happened in the call earlier is not an isolated incident. Apparently I do just have the ability to just decluck behind people and they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, you're horrifying. New blueprints actually, It's I... not even on purpose. Actually, but now that you know you can do it, it's a little more on purpose, isn't oxygen. it? No, honestly. I'm just fucking going around and then I end up behind people and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm like, I don't know, getting a sandwich? <laughs> I did hear the entry tone. I, I did, did check and see who it was, and I deliberately stayed quiet because I knew you'd be surprised. 
You're m one of my worst friends. I know. What was that? So what's the ranking of friends here? <laughs> Who's the best? Who's the worst? Um, yeah, let's, let's hear it on live WebOvision. Both of those spots are simultaneously occupied by Silver. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and to be fair, to be fair, probably always will be. Uh, yeah, he's he's got um, what, sixteen Dirt. years of experience. And he's also probably got more blackmail material than anybody else. I tr he, I mean, probably. I try to. I just don't think I'm super blackmailable because one, I don't do things, and two. I don't have anything that can really be like, I don't know, taken away. Yeah, I don't, sensible. I don't want anything. I don't either. Uh, there are things you want. This I know. Yeah, but she's married to the person who will give her those things. <laughs> um. Let's do a quick plot dump. Okay. Um. Dump and plot. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. She immediately I thought you should know. not dump plot. It didn't sit oh, I'm letting the the lady do the talking. Death on negligence. The Samantha I you oh, I met was many on. things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. Oh. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Have you met people? Things are well, pretty Sam, easy to miss I guess I might as well asses. gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Okay, I want more air. I want a knife. Uh, I feel like you're going to need a better weapon than a knife. Not really. Um, there's not there's not a lot to be had, to be perfectly honest. Um, Rubbers and mesh. And some silver would be lovely. So I need copper. Pretty sure oh. silver's occupied at the moment. Yeah, yeah it's his night to play D&D. &D. Um, so let's start picking up some rocks on our way to the place. Should be able to use this. Um, and this is the fish that lets us uh, synthesize water. Uh, the science behind that is that you filter water through its membrane. I see. Check uh, your eyes there. Whoops! Oh good, the kelp. It's right in front of me. Lovely. Oh, this is gonna be close! You have... It's not that close. You have a little bit of blackout time <laughs> to get you to hit, the surface. You hit zero. <laughs> Yeah, but after you hit zero, there's like a few seconds of grace period before you actually black out. Mm. Well, you black out, but if you keep spamming going to the surface, you often get to the surface in enough time. Um, is it, is you only instant? have a little bit of brain damage. Yes. Is it instant blackout? Uh, it's pretty fast. Okay, so it's not like your health meter drains off. All Terra supply cash nearby. Okay. Give me this. I think I only need a couple. New blueprint synthesized. Nope, that's not what I wanted. 
lubricant uh, too. I like this. I will need it, but this is not. What did I need for the knife? Was it just titanium? Oh, I have a blueprint in my PDA. I can um, check right now. I haven't played below zero, but if it's like regular Subnautica, then it's probably titanium and rubber. Knife, 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 knife. Rubber. That would make one hell of a sturdy condom. Oh, okay. You can make lubricant and... I, okay, I was right. I did need this. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. Um, great. My kingdom for a sprint button. Um, yeah, you'll make it. Yeah, I know. It's just the beginning. The game's a little slow. Um, but yeah, then I'll get the other O2 tank. Um, and the scanner. And we'll go pick up... Um, our new friend. Because I, I may not have beaten this game, but I've played the beginning several times. Okay, knife time. Okay, good, good, good. Well, the contrast of Subnautica players here are over there being, I haven't beaten this game any. Meanwhile, me over here, when I played Subnautica, I was like, oh, there's a Leviathan. I'm gonna go beat the shit out of it. I beat the first one. Uh, I, I enjoy watching. Yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy watching what? games like this more than playing them. You're not much of a crafting game person, right? Not at all. I'm a destroyer. <laughs> So when you go on Minecraft servers, you're just going on there to find the TNT and ruin everything. Used to. Got banned from God knows how many servers. Because of this. That is not surprising. Eventually stop playing altogether because what's so fun about getting kicked out? I mean, you had to know that would happen. Oh, I did. And I milked the hell out of it. Coming in here causing chaos Oxygen. on our good Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> good Christian what now? Our good Christian Minecraft server. Please. Ugh. My least favorite creature in the game. What, the creep vine? Is it? No, the sea monkeys. Oh. Blueprints in the sides. Because they steal your shit! And they're supposed to be cute. And they're not cute uh, to me. They're just assholes. Get the to... knife and kill them like the rest. I often... I either put all my stuff away if, if I notice them, or if not, I... am a little, uh... <clears throat> maybe a little harsh in my retaliation. Because you could just take the thing out of their hands. They've got stupid little hands. They can't stop me. But, um... They're thieves. They've earned the treatment. Should cut off their stupid little hands. Oh well, with aggression. I just really don't like those guys. Yes, good. Give in to the hatred. No, stop it. Um, what? And I need any. one more they're, rubber. They're. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blueprints to your data bank. There are worse crimes the sea monkeys could commit. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. <laughs> VIP breathing? <laughs> this That's game's great. Concept. The okay. thing the monkeys could do worse than stealing is blow their horns in the middle of New York City with an earshot of a kitchen. I don't get it. I don't know that reference. You out of anybody, V, should get that one. <laughs> oh! Oh! Is this oh! the cooking simulator? Yes. And the last yes. time I got real upset? Yes. That was the time I laughed so hard I gave myself a nosebleed. <laughs> oh, I forgot you, you got a nosebleed. You want me to go back for... to the post-apocalyptic version. Just so there's no honking. 
Yeah, it's, they can't honk if they're dead. <laughs> yeah, but the honking generated one of the very best moments out of that. Yeah, series. but I don't know how many times I can get that vitriolically angry over the same thing. Well, just okay. Then, then, uh, then in the other version, we'll just find something else for you to get pissed at. Something that is in the rain stick or a honking noise or or the navy. We all remember the navy. <laughs> <laughs> a battery. We all should get together and fuck each other. This is the Navy! Yeah! <laughs> a ribbon plant. Oh, so I know where the ribbon far. plant is. It was so far off the cuff, it was brilliant. I don't remember that. How long ago was that? You caused it. It had at least, at least two years now, right? You were playing, uh... No, it was, um... Fuck, what was that year. downstairs? Where's the, where's the clip, actually? Let me... Let me... It's never not on my channel it. anymore, because I pulled all the animal, animal clips, but it is on my computer. Ooh. Would you be willing to hunt through your archive to remind me of, apparently, a cool thing I did? Yeah, give me a second. Although, I don't know if fucking shitty, fuck-ass Discord's gonna let me upload it or not. Yes, we're gonna find out. Gotta stop hitting that button. I'm gonna, uh, I guess, eat some more of this fish. I don't want to cook them. It's easier to keep them alive because they, um, <laughs> they don't go bad. Why not meet? Why not meet the situation somewhere in the middle and just eat it alive? Uh, because it gives you way more food. And it doesn't decrease your water if it's cooked. Wait, you can actually eat live fucking stuff? Uh, yeah. I think you... Um... Do kill it a little before you put it in your mouth. Cool. Um... I would really still like to have... The compass... Just make sure you... I think I'm gonna get that just yet, and I'd love the scan. I I found a clip. It's dropped in the Discord. Yay! I don't know if I can share that with um, the stream. That sounds complicated, but I would like to see it. We do one thing on that battleship, and that's fuck each other. This is the Navy. Oh. <laughs> now, do you remember? No, but I like it. <laughs> I guess I'm funny. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Boy, I I know some people would be real mad that I said that. Um. You didn't say Coast Guard, so I'm not mad. Yeah, it's true. It's not you. <laughs> uh, I'm just mad because it's true. The Coast Guard, I never see enough Coast Guard people in the same place for them to possibly F each other. Ask my father that question. Maybe he's seen stuff. Perhaps. Um, okay, I keep forgetting what I want to... I would love... Supply cash. I would love to get that... Oh, I want to put my knife in uh, the hockey slot because that's where I'm used to having it. I am looking for something called a ribbon plant um, because it is full, I believe, of battery acid uh, or something you that yummy battery acid. That <laughs> something that that computer can turn into battery acid. Battery acid or lubricant? Uh, I try not to get those two things confused if I can help it. Ah, yeah. When you when you do eat fish, you're you're doing so the proper way, right? Covering in battery acid. First, you cut off their heads, then you pull out their bones. I mean, we. Let's see did each. You know, I saw the new Little Mermaid. And there was no uh, 
French chef sequence. That really pisses me off. Yeah, I imagine it must have had how... to, hmm. to be like cut for time or something, but like. But then, come how, on. how no. are you? How are you going to properly do that with Odo dead, though? It's true. The voice actor would not be able to reprise his role. But to be fair, nobody reprised their roles, so I guess they could have found someone roughly equivalent. Yeah, nobody, so nobody could have replaced Renee Abergenois how's... for it. I'm inclined to agree. How's that whole movie ranked up? Because I've heard it's. Yeah. I have uh, notoriously bad taste. Um, and have no critical media skills, so I can't develop opinions until somebody else tells me what they should be. I enjoyed it. Were you amused by it? Oh yeah, I I found the visual sequences really, really fun and lovely. Um, you know, we're sea creature nerds, so like the under the sea part was like kind of kind of neat to see. Um, oh yeah, Sebastian's your spirit animal. <laughs> Well, we don't use the term anymore, but yes, I am very much like Sebastian the Crab in that I um, don't like being asked uh, to do things. I am very cranky, um, and I like music. Uh, yes, hello, Carl, my wife. Why are you whispering? Hey! Um... Why wouldn't you whisper about something so... Yeah, because you have headphones on and you can't tell how loud you're being. But now you're whispering. I think it only... Octopus! Yeah, good. Um, they added Octopus. a couple... Octopus! They added a couple Octopus. songs Octopus. which I thought were fine. Um, they, they did not change my life in any way. But I thought they were totally serviceable. Oh, is that salt? I would like some salt. Every time y'all bring up your the animal nerdism, it makes me feel a little bit bad that I reprint it. Yeah, you made the right choice. Obviously, Kuro was delighted when you branded the way you did. Um, but you're right. It, 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 it is the time to perhaps take a step back from uh, m rampant militarism and the glamorization thereof. Yeah... Uh, some of the acting wasn't great. I'm not sure what Javier Bardem was trying to do, other than nothing. Um, and the uh, the actor playing Prince Eric, um, not a super flexible, emotive face. Um, I think Halle Berry had. Halle Bailey, excuse me. God, that's gonna happen a lot. Wow. Uh, a somewhat oh. thankless task, because during the half of the movie where she could talk, she couldn't really use her body very efficiently, and the half of the movie where she could use her physicality, she couldn't talk. Uh, yeah. But I think she did a nice job, all things considered. It's That's a fucking tough one. Um, okay. I'll be honest, that trip got me none of the things I actually particularly wanted. You got me rambling and distracted. Now you will perish. I'm oh. probably not gonna Hello. perish. Guys! Perish! V said perish! Yay! She said the thing! She said the thing! <laughs> hooray! Hooray! Uh... Okay. Uh, still would love to see if I could find- I really don't want to be holding this. But... I don't really want to be holding any of these. Okay. Um... What I, I need- I really don't want to be holding this live bomb. I- yeah, I would prefer it to be, um... Unalived. Alright, then play Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes with me. I, that game never did it for me. No? No, I appreciate what it does. Hey, an oxygen plant. This is not what I need right now. But it's a sign that this gets- Uh-oh! Oh, these fuckers. Please don't! 
Please don't. Okay. So I need. Are they still on your stupid crap? No, those are the guys who's. <laughs> you know my apocalypse survival plan? You mean your lack of one? <laughs> yeah. You know that strategy of as soon as something threatens you, you kill yourself? That's their apocalypse survival plan, and I'm the apocalypse. So, as soon as they're threatened, they swim up to you and explode. I'm gonna have fucking Richard practice his fucking grub skills on you the fucking moment the apocalypse on the ground so you can't kill yourself. I'm sorry, what skills? I've remembered the button! I've remembered did you, did the you, button! Did you say rope skills, as in tying yes. up? I actually yes. heard grope skills, to be so honest. So did I, yes! No. No, that's for Kuro. He. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need them to blow up because I need the thing Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen in their remaining. nest. I'll be taking some of this. Um, and there was a second you... one, because I got blown up twice. Did you just suck up that plant? Or yeah, I would love to see what they think that looks like, because I'm wearing a regulator in my mouth, probably on a pretty close loop. I've learned so much about diving since I last played this game, because I have a friend who's super into diving. Um, and all I can think about is how you do not think nearly enough about diving in this game. Mm. So many of the things you do in this game should have you dead so fast. And all you can sort of do is hand wave and say maybe we're better at it in the future. No, I hand wave it and say it's a fucking video game and it's not that kind of simulation. Yeah, but why not? I mean, other than the fact that um, the, the uh, al algorithms for uh, Oxygen percentage calculations are a little boring. Because mass market appeal. I guess. Um, the point is, do you take your regulator off and just put your face up to that plant? And then just shove your regulator back in your mouth as soon as you can? I assume it's some Ribbon sci plant. tech bullshit. Hell yeah. Where it's, where it's just grabbing the air and pulling it into the machine. Because depending on the type of, of reg um, this is, it might have constant positive airway pressure. So having it off of your face is just pushing gas out into the ocean. Although I suppose there's probably some sort of shut off. But then you have to remember to unshut it off. I don't think you're actually pulling it directly in your mouth. I think it's literally just the regulator has an additional component for pulling oxygen out of the environment. I suppose that's possible. So basically, if you're not sucking... You off have the a thing, replicator, probably... it's possible. Yeah, okay, yes. So, in this game, I'll say yeah, because she, like, planned this trip. I do not remember picking this up. Um... But in the first one, when you're, like, fully just stranded, why is he already wearing a incredibly sophisticated regulator? Uh, maybe it works in... maybe it works in low-oxygen spaceship. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, this is what I wanted. We've made our first battery. Speaking of glowing, my air conditioning just turned on. I don't hear it. As if you were worried about the um, stream noise. All right, I have a. Speaker. Oh no, I'm I'm just saying it's on because I'm very happy for it. I would not mind the repair tool. How big is it? Um. I think you're trying to make some sort of sex toy joke, but I don't understand it. Now, why would I ever do that? Um, because you're a bad person. Yes, you're right. I am trying to make a joke, but nothing to do with sex toys. I was going to say 8-inch tool or something like that. 
Uh, call it lesbian blindness that I forgot about penises for a moment. Ah. Oh no, I did not mean to cook that fish. You're Wait, far more useful to me. Wait, are, are strap-ons not a thing in your part of the world? Yeah, but I don't... I don't really... There's no fun way to say this, but I don't really consider that a penis. Huh. Um... What would you call it? A sex toy. Oh, okay, cool. I think shovey shove is a fun word. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's cursed. nothing. That's you wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, <laughs> Sam. Something ain't right. Serious Sam. Hey. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking. We never had this conversation. Uh... So they found this big creature frozen in ice and they sealed it off immediately upon report? Yeah. Who's the real fucking coward here? Um... Probably the company. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Wait, are you okay with Uzi joining us? Because he just did. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Uzi. Yeah, oh, I think so. <laughs> What's up, Uzi? Alright, I believe it is I'm time... I'm fine with it. It is entirely up to Wit's discretion for the show. It, uh, you're fairly harmless, all things considered. Um, You should have let him jump scare me, though, I think. <laughs> so I was trying to check, like, the, the chat in the stream. Like, the... the... Discord, you might just get anything done. What's hard today? We we all just never get anybody in the in the chat. Not if we can help it. Not if you can help it. I'm trying very hard to not be famous. And so far, it's going great. All right. Uh, copy Twitch link. Paste into there. Warning. I'm about Today's to say something kind of mean, but I don't meaning. think you have enough Twitter followers that I'm at any risk. <laughs> uh, let me... Let's hear it regardless. I don't know. Uh, 222. That ain't nothing. It's more than I would want at a time, oh, that's for sure. <laughs> Although, really, based on how numbers actually work for content creation, I get like a tenth of yeah, of course. We got we got we got somebody in the chat. Oh. Some uh, some weirdo named Retro Uzi says that's what you think. What a like handsome an and uh, uncultable bastard. <laughs> Listen, I have actually figured out a way to to shut down Uzi's curseness. Is that so? <clears throat> It'll only work for so I... long. <laughs> I'm already building I up resistance to die here in shot <laughs> Oh. There's only so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually you have built up I'm a gonna resistance. Go... <laughs> I'm gonna go become a shareholder and die here in shot just to keep them going. <laughs> make more stupid shit. Terrible. Wonderful. Horrible. Alright. So we are be okay. I know the thing I need to do next, but I think someone is supposed to tell me roughly how to get there. Uh, and maybe that will happen. Uh oh, I didn't love that noise. This is where things start to try and uh, actually hurt you, as opposed to just steal your stuff sometimes. This is where the four cowards part comes in. Yeah, thankfully it's all fairly small and they're fairly slow. 
And they're pretty easy to avoid. Um, but it doesn't mean I like it. There's a lot of things you don't like, though. I, yeah, it's how I live my life. Not enjoying things. Such is the existence of a hater. Yeah. That's me. Okay. She also didn't like Pikmin very much. I like Pikmin very much. I don't like what you did to Pikmin. <laughs> hey, I am not the only person to blame for that. No, but Warning. when the game started stressing how childlike the Pikmin were and you didn't stop, that became you. But they weren't human children. I don't like any of the context I'm getting here. The, the, what you're thinking, those were the jokes he was making. And I was a little horrified. And then they're like, oh, they're so innocent and childlike in how they interact with the world. And like that was not enough to get him to stop making those jokes. Again, I was not alone. I think she stopped. Warning, crossing 100 meters. Anyway, it's the fifth episode ever recorded on my stream, if you want to find it. That sounds like a distress it. call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Man! The fucking government alphabet agencies must find my fucking internet data very interesting, because <laughs> I look up so many things. For the sake of Photoshop art, but make them probably 30 seconds of oxygen field. remaining. Oh, I'm in trouble now. No, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, uh, we will be oxygen. in a few seconds. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, 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 I'm clicking. Oh, I'm clicking. Warning. Woo! Oh. <laughs> hey! Warning. Passing 200 uh, maybe meters. get up to the surface oxygen with your 17 seconds of oxygen what? you have? What the hell are you doing? No, 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 no. I have to go this way. I j there's gotta Wait, be an. You're, you're gonna. <laughs> there he is! Diving. Oh, there okay. he is! Oh I'm clicking! God. I'm clicking! Damn it. Perish! You, like get your your last gasp of oxygen and immediately dive to where you have less oxygen. I know, I know the oxygen deficiency gets worse, but there I have to get down to 200 meters and I have to jump from plant to Oosh. plant. And I just did not. I got distracted and uh, did not keep my objective in mind. I really have to be immediately looking to the next one. So yeah, I'm in a real ADHD moment. Oh, yeah. A bad time. <laughs> A bad time to have that manifest. I think you may need more oxygen than what you've got, though. No, it's doable. I've done it before. It's it's butthole clenching every time, but it is it is possible. That sounds fun. But but I still have the hole. There's just nothing behind it. Oh. You know that scene in the Matrix where they're like cutting off all his exits, and he like throws open a door, and um, it's just a brick wall. Yeah. That's yeah. what I've got. Ah. No entry. If you combine all of those ideas into one thought, it's a brick wall up your ass. That's true. A fleshy castle of Montiato. <laughs> 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 if the hole he locked Montresor up in was about a centimeter deep. I mean, it was enough to shut him up permanently, no? I would stop talking if I was forced into a uh, space the size of a centimeter as well. Oh, you yeah, know what not... would make this so much easier? Mm. Is if I built the damn sea glide, which I think I can do now. I uh, need... I'm not, I'm not convinced that him shutting up was entirely by choice, though. <laughs> I mean, it's probably hard to talk through that many bricks. He caught COVID down there and died. <laughs> Making it that much harder to breathe, yes. 
Not as novel as we thought. He died in... He died but in it, Ligma. It wasn't a novel, though, was it? Oh, God. You're the worst. Um, I need more ribbon plants. Oh, oh, Silver will not be happy to hear that. I don't know. I think that's uh, not his favorite title that he has. Uh, I need more ribbon plants. Uh, I have plenty of copper because I need a battery. And I need lubricant, which I get from the seeds. So, uh, headed this way to the kelp. Doesn't and mean I'm going to use it, but I sure need it. <laughs> um, and then once I have the sea glide, it will be a lot less butthole clenching to jump from plant to plant because I will be way faster. I mean, having lubricant just uh, accomplishes that anyway. I mean, one should always try to relax. Oh, can this be separately scanned? The more you relax, the better it fits. Uh, it's true. Some, You're not wrong. To be said about, something to be said about undue resistance. This is all true. There's a joke about Ohm's Law somewhere in there, but I am not energetic <laughs> enough to make it. I think that's its yeah. own joke about Ohm's Law yeah. and the energy. Yeah, yeah, me either. Is this... is this anything? No, it's not. Okay. Um, I am on the hunt for Ribbon Plant. Hey, must be the money. Scan some set dressing while we're down here. So you're getting rubber, you're getting lubricant. Yeah, it sounds like I'm gearing up for a fun night, but I'm really not. Unfortunately, the ocean is involved. Yeah, that, uh... is not as romantic as it seems, the ocean. And this is coming from a crab who's got the a crab. Kind of the aquarium was romantic, but that's because it's behind reinforced glass. Absolutely. 100% correct. Uh... And you're also not in a claustrophobic submarine. I mean, uh, this is all true. Lo I'd say you found a location that's really top shelf. If you're looking for a nice shelf, that is. Oh, now you're referring to the game again. Mm. Uh, okay, we got a battery. And now I can make this guy. And this will be. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. The light is nearly useless. Well, the light's good, the map is nearly useless. So, let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna make this... five, because I'm used to it being there. And I don't want to waste my battery power, because I don't have a charger, and making new batteries means I have to find ribbon plants every time. Woo! I accidentally somehow climbed out of the water. Which is kinda neat. Okay. Uh, there's some good twisty- there they are. We're looking for the twisty bridges. Can the sea monkey steal something as big as the glider? That's a good question, I don't recall. Um, but I think I'm probably too fast for them with it. Ah, uh, yeah, now this is how to travel. Hell yeah, look at me go. Style and luxury. One, yeah. 100 meters. Uh, that's so one of the guys that hurts. Really clocking those meters, huh? Don't be interested. Don't be in Whoa, he's interested! Help! 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 Okay, goodbye. One, Thank you, sir. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's fine. I'll be it on my way. Fine. This is all fine. 
I feel fine. The butthole unclenched. Thirty seconds of oxygen. Moisturized, hydrated, <laughs> in my lane, thriving. Do I want to know what you just said? Yeah, it was a it's meme a from meme. a year or so ago of a a, a very fat, very happy-looking Irish man in a beautiful little spring, uh, and that he's moisturized, happy, in his lane, flourishing, flourishing. So he's got some girth to him. He's a big dude. Are you saying a big dude or a big dude? Um. The first one. Ah, uh, the kind of dude you'd call a fella down at the pub. Yeah. <coughs> Absolutely. Robo crap. I. What is all this? Robot is actually some crab. I don't you think they you hurt me. If you show yourself. Um, actually, in the first game, I think if you, you stand in their way too long, presence. they will like poke you. Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. You will have to do it. Um, I do want to know what her walk cycle looks like. From third person, because the arm movement is banana- This is the type of ledge I have trouble walking on? Don't talk to me about Those ledge which we have trouble walking on. Movie. It still <laughs> triggers me. <laughs> I think this, so I've seen this moment a bunch of times, um, coming up. I think it's such a fun, um, moment of storytelling. Also, I have a guess as to what the walk cycle might look like. Probably pretty absurd, to be honest. What the fuck? You're already getting iron cubes? Isn't that weird? Yeah, you get a couple right up front. Maybe not okay, as abs then. Maybe not as absurd as you think. Here's my here's my thing. Hear me out. The voice gives me very Kate Walker vibes, so I suspect the walk cycle would be that, here. except much faster. Okay, I'm having a a cooked brain moment here. Which game was Kate Walker from? I forgot. Siberia. Siberia. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Hurry. Guess who's been in fucking, like, 85 degree weather with high humidity for, like, the last three days outside? Yeah. Yikes. Also, guess who's had four hours of sleep today and is currently has just so finished drinking their third monster for the day. Oh, Jesus. Grace. I mean, listen, that's great for streaming. <sighs> What's happening? At least I put a few hours between each of them. Uh oh. Here comes the probe. Mm. Open wide. Slurp. Transfer complete. Did it eat your brain? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your. Oh no! Your brain ain't <laughs> in. Oh, in my head? I offered you that's, my PDA. That's an insult, though. Oh no! Does your kind perceive a boundary? Between cybernetic and organic components. My mind is not a component. Shut up. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. She is upsetting spaghetti. Well... Yes, it is. Good job, you fucking broke it. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Quail? If that's your explanation, you're in for a rather rude awakening. So... Uh, I have many fewer free gigabytes in my brain. 
The way it was phrased, though, seems like an insult to Robin's intelligence. Um. Just... Ample space in your cerebral cortex. Yeah. Like, yikes. She just needs to take more gas station brain pills. <laughs> <laughs> how, um... much do, how much do those pills boost your intelligence, Mod, though? At least six. Oh, nice. <laughs> I did not give them enough credit. <laughs> I won't tell you where the decimal point is in that number. <laughs> so are there, pills, are there pills for dexterity like that? Because I could use them for purposes. Yeah, Meth, I think. I mean. <laughs> yeah. And your your dexterity won't actually get better, but you will think it has. I'll take it. Okay. An illusion is better than nothing. Well, I still have some oxygen. Is there anything to scan around here? Since I have a tiny bit of time to spare. I mean, surely the oxy plants have replenished by now. They have, thankfully. Um, they don't replenish fast enough for you to survive super long at depth, but... So... In a world full I of have... hydro, seek the oxy. Well, I have both of yours attention. Yeah. Um, how do you two feel about the Star Trek games? I have uh, feelings. I've played... an FMV simulator of Starfleet Academy when I was little with Zack and the game was so complicated that we had to sit side by side at the computer um, okay. because we couldn't operate all of the controls as one person so I would fly and he would shoot uh, Warning. okay more relevantly there's a new fucking uh, telltale style uh Point click adventure game that's a Star Trek game that came out that's got favorable reviews. Oh, really? So hmm. I was pondering posing that as an option to do as a Thursday thing whenever I can afford to get it. Okay. I would certainly be willing to take a look. So because I. I want a fucking Star Trek game that's not Stowe so I can actually do Star Trek things and not just annihilate every fucking ship I come across. I played Stowe for minutes. a little bit. I gave my um, login information to Silver and told him to go nuts. And I think he has. Does this new game revolve around a particular series? No. It's okay. a standalone thing. Cool. Do you know where in the timeline it takes place? Uh, I think post Dominion War. So when they have like the the gray uniforms with the colored bits on them. Okay, so sometime after twenty three seventy six. That was Armistice Day. The end of uh, the end of Deep Space Nine. The yeah, Armistice Day is not the end of Deep Space Nine because some post Dominion War shit happened in that show. Yeah. I could use some more water, I think. Thank you for volunteering. Um, and I should while I you. You stay away from me. You stay away. You stay away. Ha! You piece of shit. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, give me that, nerd. Can you grab the sea monkey itself? No, I don't think so. New creature so the fact that Whit brought Armistice Day tells me that Whit knows enough Star Trek that she won't be completely lost when we play it. I actually was referring to the end of uh, the World War, but I am aware that they uh, have a Star Trek equivalent. I'm pretty Star Trek literate. That's good enough. I watched more I Star Trek Enterprise than anyone should have. Yeah, my family and I are in the middle of Star Trek Enterprise. Originally, you're against going my better back. Judgment. Why? Eh. I doubt that holds up because it didn't even hold up at the time. It doesn't. 
It's an interesting view on Starfleet before Starfleet, though. I guess. Like I, or at least in the very, very early days of Starfleet before transporters were actually safe. Oh, our cell phone is ringing, and by cell, I mean the actual cells of our brain. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. <laughs> yeah, get him, Robin. We require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. They are the board. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? Yeah. You may append your seat code to my species designation. Please call me Al Am. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? <laughs> no, it's fine. Perfect. <laughs> Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. A precursor race. But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Holy you shit. Prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> okay. Frustrating reaction. Wow. Why is it my life? I want the narrator to read Sorry, which out. part of your life is that an alien named, uh, a digital alien named Alan no. is inside of your the, brain? No, the, there's there's a subtitle for frustrate reaction. Oh, I see. I think the narrator should read those verbatim. Uh, the <laughs> they're not lines, they're read. stage directions. Like that one jackass who reads stage directions as if they are lines. <laughs> Deliberately to piss off the director. Not that I've ever done anything like that during my time on stage. No, never. I think the voice actor should read uh, every line in the game alphabetically without context. <laughs> <laughs> you're damn right they should. Uh, I mean, you can, if you're a voice actor, you can record the Jesus. You can record them so, in any order you want, I suppose. <laughs> you don't want to hear some fucked up shit? Uh, maybe. Always. Always. On me. Um, so a friend of mine is trying to get into the Diablo 4 launch. Yeah. And they've been waiting for two hours on the PS5 to get in there and haven't been able to get in there. They read on Twitter that someone tweeted that if you make a microtransaction, you immediately get in the game. She tried it and she immediately got in the fucking game. Ew, gross. Yeah. Don't you love fucking paywalls? Jesus. So anyway, I feel justified in my continuing boycott of Blizzard. I mean, they should be boycotted anyway. Yeah, that... Blech. Um... I miss StarCraft Root War, but fuck it. This yeah, it's... dead and gone, I'm afraid. Bethesda's also on my boycott list. Oh, he doesn't even know what to he doesn't know where the blueprints are he doesn't know what goes into them does he know goddamn anything uh not at the moment ah so he's a so he's a manager <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah. I'm the sum total of my entire race we are not individual what is water <laughs> yeah the problem with being the sum total of your entire race is it means you need to be your wi-fi needs to be enabled at all times and uh, someone has unplugged the modem, because they're all dead. And also bombed the ISP. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm looking for a radio tower. Uh, those are traditionally built on land. That's a lofty goal to aspire to. Why is Finn Boys trending? <laughs> I'm sorry, why is what trending? You heard me. I did hear you, and I want to heard you again. <laughs> I refuse to indulge you. Oh, you can pick them up? Yes, you can. Oh my god. There you it's go. A, 
It's a baby. It is a baby. It's what? a horrifying baby. Kuro, look, it's a baby. <laughs> baby, did you see the baby? I can't hear her reaction. I can't. Oh, oh God, the there teeth. There she is. There she is. <laughs> The teeth are the least alien part about it. Because actual penguins have teeth just like that. Um, I have, <laughs> but they're usually not quite so big. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Can I pick you up? No, I can't. Really wouldn't do that. Tall and proud. Oh! <laughs> uh, just take did it? you just. Uh, <laughs> return that! Goodbye! <laughs> return the baby! <laughs> I didn't know you'd put it in your pocket. Because <laughs> I, I was in front run. of you, I didn't realize it went on my hot bar, and since my hot ah. bar was full, it just went in my pocket. I didn't know that would happen. <laughs> How does it fit in your pocket? I don't That's know. A large baby. How I, does anything fit? I put it pants. back. I put Next it back question. and got hurt because I was in such a hurry to put it back. Well, that's what happens when you pocket something with a sharp, toothy pecker. I mean, am I wrong? I mean... I think it was more the mother attacking you to get its child back. I can't... Yeah, me. I don't know if it was a mom attack or the fact that the weather uh, got bad all of a sudden. Oh, so it was its mother's... It was, it was its mother's pecker. Both are possible and not a hypothesis I really feel like testing. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd want the mother's pecker in me either. Oh my god. Coward. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what the stream is called, Subnautica for Cowards. Well, cow wards, specifically. Yeah, did you know Twitch what? doesn't like the word cowards? Isn't that weird? What? Yeah, they would, like, this might go against... I, the plugin said this might go against Twitch guidelines, and we tried replacing the vowels with numbers, and it wasn't until we, um put them in um, two different words that it stopped having a problem with it. They must recognize that they themselves are cowards and they took it personally for that reason. I guess. I mean, this is true. Yeah, I was very surprised that that was something they had a problem with. See, the couple times I had titles that I got that message for, for trying to do so, I said something disparaging about Twitch right in the title, and then turned around and titled it what I was going to title it after exporting to YouTube. Nothing yeah. ever came of it, so... It's true, they, they can't get you down there. Uh-oh. I, I heard the noise of the little angry fellas. And as I don't think I need any more... Uh, explosion powder. I would rather not anger the little angry fellas. You always need explosion powder. You may not always have immediate need for it, but trust me, you always need it. <laughs> I would love to find a little more silver, though, because now I have two things that need a wiring kit, and those each take two silver apiece. Why not gold or platinum? Um, They're worth more money. They are. They are required for more... Whoa, oh. The fellas! The boys! Okay. Okay. He sounded a lot closer than he ended up being. Um... Gold, uh, the real boys. They're dangerous and self-destructive. <laughs> gold uh, is used for even more high-quality wiring than I currently require. Are you limestone? Yeah, but it's that much easier to strangle somebody with gold than silver. Is that true? Do that's, would wire have higher tensile strength? Depends on what it's made of, I would think. I know! If, the two things we're talking with, about are gold and silver! I mean, if you make it with something firmer, you're gonna get a stronger wire. And therefore, you're not gonna have to do quite as much to keep the wire in place. I mean, if it's... weak enough, it'll just break. 
I've worked. I don't do a ton of work with gold. I do some work with silver. It's um not very strong. Mm. But I will try strangling one of my coworkers with our silver soldering wire and see if that uh, will break when they resist. Ooh. Yes, FBI, this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Next, question, would... <laughs> Next question, how would... Next question, how would silver... <laughs> how would how would I'm silver wire <laughs> how would silver wire work as violin strings um pretty bad I think I it I would think be, it'd be so fun. expensive a vi the winding of a violin string is so long yeah but it'd be oh, great yeah. for it be great for an April Fool's thing yeah I bet it doesn't um resonate real good mm. I'm sure it's been tried the violins and other bowed strings have been around for long enough that I'm sure we've tried everything once mm. warning passing 100 meters Oxygen Jesus fucking Arson Jesus down. why are you still so right there god Jesus damn mother Jesus. now that's some fetish content I haven't heard <laughs> yet Jesus self sessed <laughs> Holy Father, shit. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Technically, any you amalgamation know, of those is always going to be Celsius. You're not wrong. Alpha pulls that, his Bible I guess that's and... really Jod's... So, uh, um, hmm. <laughs> Alpha pulls his Bible wow. out and checks to see if the Bible mentions this. He stopped himself this yeah. time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's that's impressive. trying to consider the ramifications here. Oh, please. The Holy this Spirit is... is in all of us, so therefore all Christian sex is jawed self sex. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, Wit doesn't want an audience. The best way to assure that is to get her banned. Yeah. <laughs> and then we is just do all this. Is that your victory condition, Wit? Is that your victory condition, getting banned One, off Twitch? I didn't realize it, but it uh, would accomplish my goals. Okay, I would love to scan that, but I simply don't have the time. Oxygen. Right. I know. Years later, I am, I am fucking tickled by your fucking PFP still. No, you don't get to use that. <laughs> we just talked about this today. That's the worst acronym in history. Okay, honestly, that was. I didn't even think about that. That just kind of just something I just said, but it still amuses me that that caused you psychic damage. Because we just had that conversation today. He's right behind me, isn't he? Oh, now he's not right behind me. We have all managed to find ways to cause each other psychic damage. The thing that once did the most <sighs> psychic damage to me was the... Oh, it's it's the thing inside. Warning. 30 seconds um, of oxygen remaining was the Nicolas Cage movie Cobbler Out of Space. Um, it was oh, a little more gruesome than suicides. I thought it was going to be. Um, and I watched that Oxygen. movie. I had probably taken a nap that day because it was during the pandemic, so I'd like to blame All some of it on this. Um, but I watched, we watched the movie dog. from like 9 to 11, and I didn't fall asleep until 4 in the morning this is the place Lil because I couldn't. Yikes. Um, because I went and I read the I've short. I've not seen that movie. I read the short story only after seeing the film, meters. and then the Oxygen rest of the night would be, decreased. why the fuck did they do it like that then? <laughs> if that was what it was based on, this is what they came up with. You didn't need to do any of this. But they did. You didn't yeah, need yeah, to make an like a be based on a Lovecraft short story. Connected life form out of alpacas. Of oxygen remaining. You didn't need to kill the dog. <laughs> I'm very interested me. with this movie. Jolie Richardson, the actress, trying. didn't need to lap water out of a bowl like a dog, but here we all are. Where By the way, I the color out of space is magenta. Where can I find specifically this one scene? Oh, it's like the most upsetting scene in the movie. 
where can I find specifically this one? YouTube, scene? probably. Cool. Or if all else fails, Pornhub. And the other thing is, like, the beginning and the end. Also, I think... Cheech Marin is in the... No, uh, Tommy Chong is in the movie for no reason. Jesus. But, and then the narrator only, like, reads a couple of, like, paragraphs out of the story at the very beginning and the very end, and then everybody talks modern the rest of the time. And it's presented like that he wrote this, and it's so archaic sounding. It it's truly a baffling artistic choice. Mm. This is the era of Nick Cage movies in which he was in debt. It's it's it kind of at the the tail end of that, unless he's still in debt. Because I truly, it's yeah, I I think he, like just recently he like finally paid off most of what he had to. So the T Rex skull in the castle in Mongolia or whatever. I don't even know. Um, do I want the rebreather, which is? Almost, but not entirely, exactly not how this works. Um, Can we start this conversation again? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've, my friend Dang. talks about diving a lot. Um, or do I want the high capacity tank? Because I don't have enough silver for both of them. We talk about dying a lot. I guess I'll do the O2 tank first. Which is the tank I've got glass and some more titanium. Can't smell titanium without um <laughs> I actually might need some more quartz, don't I? See, I, I know from reading the Martian a couple of times that the issue with air is not not enough oxygen, it's too much carbon dioxide. It can be too much oxygen when you're diving. That's also true. Because uh, oxygen becomes toxic to the human body uh, above pressures or above concentrations of 1.6 parts something 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 over HG. I don't remember what PP whatever stands for. They just oh partial pressure is the the thing they talk about. <laughs> uh. Sorry, go on. And how much you have to dilute it with other things. Dangerous weather approaching. Depends on how deep you are because it depends on how efficiently stuff can get pushed into your tissues with the number of atmospheres. Blah blah. And what a rebreather does is allows you to adjust the mix of. Um, oxygen and your diluent gas while you're down there while doing a small amount of uh, oxygen recycling from your exhales. Salt is good, but I'm actually here for quartz. And there's a shark after me. I can hear it. I wish he would stop being One, after me. 30 seconds of oxygen. He's so close! Oh, but this is so important. Please don't bite me. If you do, please only bite me once. Please only bite me once! Please only bite me once! Hew! We're fine. Please blush. You only want to be bitten once? Seconds of We're fine. Remaining. We're fine. Does anybody see a plant? There it is. We're fine. We're fine. The, the existence of the sea truck implies the existence of the sea truck stop, which implies the existence <laughs> of sea truck stop <laughs> gas station <laughs> dick pills. Which implies the uh, existence of sea truck stop uh, lot sex workers. Uh oh. Lizards. So that's where we were going. Uh, my, uh, sea glide is out of battery, so I'm gonna have to make to the surface under my own power. And it's a slower climb. We're, we're gonna be okay, but, uh, I suddenly feel a lot less safe around the sharks. 
Oh, now you feel unsafe around sharks. I mean, I didn't feel great about it to begin with, but at, with the sea glide, I was faster than them. And now I am no longer. Now I'm just a human. On a planet full of sharks. I'm only human, after all. A quartz? Speaking of human, after all. I am categorically insane according to everyone who listens to Daft Punk music other than me because that's my favorite Daft Punk album. I don't know enough Daft Punk albums and their uh, contents to have a judgment on your relative sanity. Um, I imagine it depends on which album was released during a certain part of your teenage years. We are presumably willingly taking part in this show. What sanity? <laughs> sanity is a bullshit concept made up by the medical industry anyways. Made up by big serotonin. It's a fucking construct. Nothing more. Anyone who tells you otherwise needs And unlike to... other constructs, it's not even like kind of real. Yep. Alright, let's... This bullshit made up to gauge your pro productivity for the fucking orphan grinding factories. Yes, although well, I will say the the ones where you like see and hear things that aren't real, um, those are tough to defend as like you leave my neurodivergence alone. Those seem pretty disruptive. I'm sorry, yeah. you did say organ grinding, yes. I think she said orphan grinding. That's Orphan what I grind. heard. Okay, just just checking. Grind your bones to make my bread. I don't know. It's it's really just like advanced imaginary friends. Like as long as you're not hurting anyone, I don't see the problem. They really. often tell you to hurt other people. <laughs> it tastes like it's been abandoned. Or they tell you that other people are trying to hurt you. It's it's just no good. Yeah. Yeah. That one's that one's hard to love. Yes, hello, my darling. You're just here for a kiss. You did the thing you were supposed to do. Am I gonna have to bug you about it tomorrow too? You will not be doing that. There's a shortage, we can't afford it. You're also uh, definitely not committing prescription fraud and need to think about all the people you're definitely not providing Adderall to. Shortage of Adderall? Yeah. I'm listening. That is pretty impressive. Okay. I suppose that's sure. You should have said something. I would have come and beaten up your executive dysfunction with my bare fists. Yeah, but I'm good at it. Alright, go. Get it. Shoo. Go, you stupid horse. Oh, I'm gonna... Bravery from Lit here. I I uh feel pretty safe beating up um uh, uh well basically the same sanity constructs we were talking about uh because very few of them punch back. Um, what I need is another battery. Don't punch you back anyway. I suppose that's true. Um. You can't accomplish punching without fisting. Oh, you know what we should do? What? Fuck this battery nonsense. Not fisting! Uh, uh at I'm least sorry. not without proper, um... Lubricant. Yes, the proper preparation. Um, we should go check out Delta Station, or at least see what would be preventing me from checking out Delta Station. Um, I mean, I mean, A through G didn't do the job, so. Uh, somebody around here's got to have a ribbon plant. Is 
Is that the stringy looking one? Uh, yes. I feel I have actually uh, gone to a place where there isn't any. Um. No. 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 Come on, fellas. There's no, there's no need for this. Well, I guess well, I've got him. I've forgotten the button for dive deeper. There should be a, a oh, it's C for sink. C for is there, come down is there... here. I promise it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, C for come. Ew. It's weird when you say it. Hey, look, if you ejaculate in the water, nobody's gonna know it. Yeah, they will. Au contraire! <laughs> How close are you looking, anyway? And I guess it depends on the trunks you're wearing, but still. I don't uh, know, it would have to congeal itself pretty fucking well for you to notice it in, in the ocean. I don't know, we can see a fish ejaculate when it, there's enough of it in one place. You would notice human. It, yes, it would diffuse pretty quickly, thank god, but still. Yeah, and inseminate an entire ocean. I mean, in the basest uh, definition of the word inseminate up to to put semen in something, yes. I'm not even sure that's necessarily the case, because inseminate sort of implies living semen, and human semen would definitely die immediately upon the, sal the salinity of the ocean. It would be pretty quick, huh? I mean, there's nothing in the rule book that says it has to be living semen, you know what I mean? I mean, It's I definitely guess. strongly connoted, but like... It's strongly implied, but not technically required. The best kind of required. If you kill somebody, hook them up in semen, sh cement, sorry, cement shoes, and throw them in the ocean. The body is still in the water, right? Therefore, dead semen would still be semen in the water. Oh boy! It's not particularly effective semen. All right. Semen See, nonetheless. Now we've added another layer of abstraction here. <laughs> That's uh, Alpha's forte. What's Alpha's piano? Oh. Is there one? <laughs> He's a trombonist, so there isn't. There, yeah, for many reasons, there is no piano. It doesn't, the volume setting on those doesn't go that low, unfortunately. I spent my comparatively short career in music ignoring all piano. <laughs> Never look at the trombones, it only encourages them. Uh... So very true. Did you know that they made um, two incredibly bad point-and-click adventure games based on um, Wagner's The Ring Cycle? They made what? Uh, off I, the Ring was, Cycle? Uh, Sci-fi point-and-click adventures. We're totally doing this, right? We are absolutely not. <laughs> uh, it's abandonware and very hard to play and really, really bad. Abandon where but you But these all play. sound like things that happen on this channel. Yeah, oh, I no. mean... It was made for Windows Vista, wasn't it? I don't... It was, what, 2002, I think the first one was? Worse. Windows ME. Um, I was watching a channel called Mandalore oh, Gaming, God. and he... This is kind of his specialty. And, um is like awful stuff like this it's it's really it's very bad just play a sierra game yeah we would have more fun like... we're planning on watching through those on a on a channel oh More yeah less... watching basically a commentary on a let's play on somebody yeah. else's let's play because um i don't want to die that often i also don't have the patience for for playing and besides there's enough cinematic value that Sierra games are very, very good watching material. They are like you've got, you've got, but like also you've just got... play it with a walkthrough. It's not yeah. worth it playing any other way. Yeah, I mean, like you've got, you've got, you've got player ba you've got games that are great for players. You've got games that are great for watchers. Every so often, you get one that's great for both. 
I find Sierra games are best done watched, unless you've got a dedicated professional who's done it a billion times and can make that work. The channel Sierra's chest consists of one such person. Somebody's got to, right? Hmm. Anyway, about the ring cycle. The game's called Ring. The game and is it's called from, Ring. And it's from 1998. At least the, uh... Oh, the sequel must be the early 2000s, then. So, Ring, the Legend of the Nibelungen. And... I mean, if it was made for oh, Windows, no. I could probably run it. Wait. Let me see. I don't know. There was a guy... Like, Mandalore's whole thing is playing games like that, and even he had a ton of trouble with it. There's there's something... <clears throat> well, yeah. Well, I have native hardware. I've got two different Windows 98 computers. Okay. Then you would probably have less so. trouble. Although, tough uh, if you were a streamer... Not a streamer, a content creator like him. Um tough to then uh, get enough recording data. You would need to have uh, a hell of a setup of capture and like probably hooked up to another PC to facilitate that. Oh, definitely. You would essentially have to run like a some weird ass capture card thing and you wouldn't be able to do like a normal capture. You'd have to find like a relatively you'd have to one to pull off of VGA plus like oh, 3.5 audio. Oh, good. Just what everybody oh, wants. Because oh, it's boy. definitely not like a combined video audio port on <laughs> this kind of hardware. Oh, yes, yeah. now. Where? But are... I managed to capture Pokemon Red without emulation, so I think I could manage. If, like, listen, dude, if you want to be the guy who makes another Let's Play of uh, Ring, you. Uh, <laughs> won't have a ton of competition, let's put it that way. In 2003, Ring... Off, girl boss. In 2003, Ring was followed by a sequel, Ring 2, Twilight of the Gods, which brings the cycle to an end following the two last parts of Wagner's Ring, this Nibelungen, Siegfried, and Gotu Damerung. Ring 2 Gotu Damerung, by the way, is like the last 30 minutes of the game. Ring 2 was met with extremely negative reviews and considered a failure. I mean, Ring 1 was met with pretty fucking significant negative reviews, and Ring 2 got even worse than that. See also Dracula the Resurrection. Same. <laughs> um, Uzi, you seem like the kind of person to play Pathologic. Surprisingly, no. But you're familiar. I think I am. Let me Google some things to make sure I'm right. I mean, just you watch the two-hour the... H-Bomber guy video. What? You, re you, you refer to up? the 2005 game? Uh, I'm referring to the first one. Pathologic is a 2005 role-playing and survival game developed by Russian studio Ice Pick Lodge. Then yes. Oh, that's right, it was 05, and everyone said, even for 05, this looks like shit. Pathologic Classic HD on stream. Um, oh. I'm bringing it up because I rewatched the H Bomber guy video recently. Uh, Save and 75 percent on Pathologic 2 on stream. I don't even want to play Pathologic okay. 2, and everyone says that that one is actually okay. Well, okay is a strong word. Hey, guess what? What? I own Pathologic 2. That doesn't <laughs> surprise me. Um, I don't know how your brand of patience will feel about it. Uh, because the combat is a horror show, even in the new one, because it's supposed to be bad. If I did it with y'all, it'd be a little bit better, just because I could fill the dead air. That... My patience would only give out if I was stressed out about filling the fucking dead air. I am truly fascinated by the reviews on this game. Yeah, everyone, here's the easiest way to sum up Pathologic. Um, Pathologic is a terrible game. I love it. <laughs> well, I wait, allow right me to now. read the, the, the most helpful review in the past 90 days. 
This game is the most depressing thing I've ever played. I work about 70 hours a week in a scientific research setting, making less than minimum wage, and this game makes me feel better because, hey, at least work is better than whatever's going on with The Bachelor's life. I spend every working, waking hour thinking about this game. It's an existential crisis speedrun. Play this game if you hate yourself, only marginally less than you hate other people. 9 out of 10 would be 10 out of 10 if The Bachelor and the High Respects kissed. <laughs> He's upset Recently about how The Bachelor's life goes? He He's upset about the wrong guy. The Harrisbex has it all infinitely worse. Recently posted. Most recent review. This game made me more homosexual. <laughs> so he's more interested in now. Oh god no. I look I I am a recovering video game masochist. Alright, I did my time with Siege. I'm doing it less now. I did my time with the early Far Cry games. That time is over. So, I may be the one who will throw themselves upon that spear then. Hmm. Bash yourself upon that particularly salacious patch of rocks. Um. I will be very interested to see how they handle getting the different endings when in the... I don't want to pick up the snow. Um, pick up the snow. You just end up with like infinite snowballs. Uh, which I think you can throw at the penguins. Do it. I don't know. I don't really feel like I gotta. Assassinate the penguins. I don't think they die. I hope they That's don't die. Um, <laughs> the most sane two weeks you can experience in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> That's patently untrue. Russia's not that bad. <laughs> I'm very interested in pathologic just because I don't think I've played the Slav Jake game, but I haven't won. Um... How do you do with really frustrating combat? Because that's, I think, the main thing that everyone says the the new one still has is like you still feel really powerless all the time. Uh, I'm trying to think of what game I played that might have had really terrible combat like that. Hmm. Am I? I want. I know I went the wrong way. The question is, can this way become the right way if I persist? I believe in your general direction. I just remembered that I got a lot what? farther in this game than I thought I had, because I just I remembered mean, I that guess I. It depends. I met the lady. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if I couldn't go pretty significantly deep. I wonder why I stopped. <laughs> well, my best I guess would be. I've the experience of combat with Stalker, so maybe I could tolerate it because Stalker is this weird thing where the difficulty is inverse. You have to play it on maximum difficulty, or else you're going to have a bad time. Tell me about what that- what? How? Okay, so... Um... Easy makes you have more health and you take less damage, but it does the same for enemy. Oh. So, gunfights end up being New this fucking slog where you throw a fucking billion bullets and bullet punches. Maximum difficulty, on the inverse, makes it so that you're easy to kill, but so is the enemies. Huh. So if you take the systems in the game and bend them over your fucking knee and spank the shit out, then suddenly you're a master at killing your right thing. there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Like this lady. She's probably about to then fucking murk your ass the fucking next. Precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. 
This planet has land? <laughs> hmm. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far We're as standing as on it. Come allow. on. I mean, yes, but you understand my point. I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. Oh, thank you, Alan. I am among the last. Oh, very helpful, Alan. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. No, make more <laughs> contact with mommy in Mexico. <laughs> A little grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call, and she is well armed. Oh, he's Maybe hurt. Maybe she's afraid of us. I have no desire to find out. He. Signal location uploaded to PDA. He's Aww, he's, he's like. Offended. Yeah. I fucking can't remember how to get to the top of this dang little mountain. Fetch robot. I'm gonna start following these flares. That kind of seems promising. They would do that for a stupid person like me, right? Right, and then we go in the cave. And we're aiming up. That's what we're aiming for. We're aiming to continue sort of up. Mm, this was a circle. So oh wow, LinkedIn, one person noticed me? I could not care less. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Oh, one buddy. person noticed me. It's a fucking scam bullshit hiring company. Absolutely. Okay, I know we're going down, and I know I said we were going to go up, but, like, maybe it's one of those... <clears throat> but are you yelling timber? You know, I unironically really like that song. <laughs> it's got I a funky beat. I think it slaps and bops. Okay, so I seem to have turned around, which is fine. This is embarrassing. I don't recall it being very hard to get up there. I just can't. Maybe it was traumatic and you she blocked it out. Even. Okay, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be me. This is real, this is me, this is who I'm meant to be. You alive over there, Alpha? I'm alive. I'm just enjoying the pretty colors. Mm, okay. Space heater plants. Yeah, they're very uh, useful for idiots. No, like you me. can't cook food on. Watch me. You also probably shouldn't try and cook food on a space heater. You've You're never done far that. too late. He's done that. Oh dear. You are years too late. Not only have this I cooked food on a space heater. This is something he's done enough. I made him an emote for it for his fucking channel. I've cooked shelves of pizza with a space heater. Well, not cooked, technically reheated. I'm not that suicidal, but uh, still, I cooked it up. And it was so goddamn delicious, you have no idea. I stand yeah. corrected and afraid. You know what? I think Uzi's the kind of crazy ass we need to breathe some life into the show. Mm, I mean, I'm... It's not that I'm not convinced. It's that I'm afraid. <laughs> well, if you're, if you're truly you know, that's afraid, a good would sign. you... If you were truly you, the afraid, would you be doing that? <laughs> Um, I do this because it's a good, structured way to spend time with my friends. Hmm. I mean, doing this game in particular. Oh, the cowardice of all of this? Um. If you were that afraid, would you be doing this? I mean, I wouldn't be doing this alone, that's for damn sure. Why do you think I invited as many people as I could find to sit here with me and hold my hand? Hmm. Okay, what about this way? I'm not, I'm not sure I call what I'm doing as holding your hand, or like just looming over you threateningly until you actually comply and do the thing. You are kind of like pushing me from behind, I'll admit it. I'm just here because hey, I started this whole thing. We have found the stuff in the place. 
Which is good, because there's only 10 minutes left of the stream. So gonna have to find it at some point. What do now? Uh, I'm gonna uh, trigger finding out that I don't have the stuff I need, so the uh, blueprints will be added to my PDA. Uh, Wait, you're having you're having PDA with a blueprint? Get d down here, you stupid birds! Actually, according to the phylogeny, they're technically um, pseudo mammalian. Um... Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to channel like a marine bio major, and it's not working. I. Remember my friend who's really into diving? Would it surprise you to know that she was a marine bio major? <laughs> not even slightly. And actually, that, I, I should not talk to about marine bio majors. They have it way they're 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 way more real than like. God, what am I thinking of? Probably chem majors. Can we get this person on this series? No. I actually showed her this game, and I think as soon as uh, I didn't have to calculate any damn thing about my gas mixture, she checked out. Oh. That's a shame. There's so much worse things to do horrific psychic damage to her with. <laughs> uh, she's one of those people that's constantly accidentally psychic damaging herself. She really doesn't need my help. Subject her to or our help, I guess. You know, submarines don't do it for her. She's like tank diving, scuba diving, or nothing. She thinks free diving's kind of a waste of time. Um, well, barrel trauma has diving in it, though. Is a joke. Does it really? I've never seen you get out of the boat before. Uh, yes. There's suits you can get in and get out of the boat. There's stuff to get outside the boat. Is that, do you have to calculate your gas mixture? Fuck no. Then I, I still don't think she's in. It's funny, you seal the door behind you and the temperature goes up, but the glass is fully cracked. It's just open. I guess you have no wind chill going on? I don't fucking know. I appreciate you trying. I mean, yeah, I, I get like the lack of wind chill would significantly improve your temperature. So when do you get like a scuba parka? Yeah, right? I was wondering. The map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam works. I think you just get by with coffee. Delta is where we are now. I get by with a little help from my coffee. And Phi is the vertical line, yes? Y'all know I your Greek letters so. better than me. Yeah. I haven't been to college in a minute. <laughs> I also don't know my Greek letters. Not many of them, anyway. Like, I don't know what the little circle with the tail is. That doesn't look familiar at all. All right, I guess I'll be the one. You'll have to be the one, Uzi, because I didn't go to college. All right, okay. Let's see. We've got a whole... Um... A... Problem. It's what? not one. Okay. That's fine. That's probably, like, super special alien stuff. It's a weird, nasty mixture of Greek letters and not. He has a framed you picture know, of a penguin. Good for him. With the ongoing fucking bitching about the, the student debt pause, I continue to feel vindicated in deciding not to go to college because I couldn't figure out what major I wanted. You're doing fine. I love that there's a poster that just says to say no to sky rays. What are those little bastards up to that you need to say no? Unionization. I mean, Altera wouldn't like that. Critical support to Comrade Skyray. <laughs> Alternately drugs. Yeah, maybe you can like synthesize them into something. 
synthesize Skyray pheromones into mega space weed. No, mega mega space truck stop penis pills. <laughs> oh, this is. Communications tower maintenance log. So this is the guy. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. The guy who had As the poster. Usual, so I, I think he just interference alert. doesn't As like usual, the sky race. I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially, if you can even call what I have a career. But I can swear they're targeting me personally. <laughs> the week I was out with the flu, I came Another back to entrant. find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me, as if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. This late in the stream, it must be a silver. Look at this buffoon acting like birds are real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I say, knew it. They are, but only in space. <laughs> it is a silver. Hello, guys. Hello. How goes uh, cowardice? We had to start from the top because uh, there were none saves on my. Oh, you know why? Because I restarted Windows. Get back here. You! Get back! Ha ha! No! Retar no! <laughs> These are like the hardest creature in the game to fully scan. And this one is stuck in this cave like a pigeon in a Home Depot, and I will scan it. <laughs> yes! I, okay. Brent? Yes. Brent? Yes. I want you to know that uh, yesterday I actually, in fact, took a picture of a pigeon in a home in I don't know Home Depot was a Lowe's, but still. Post it to Pat! I guarantee you, you can't let that Lowe's you... have already named it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> there were several in there, because I heard at least three of them. Ah, a clutch. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't a pigeon, I think. It was a dove. Those are the same thing. I should probably stop picking up all this titanium. I really can get it anywhere. Worthless, worthless titanium. Well, my point- And, it, and it's all yours. My point is titanium, very easy to get. Gold, much harder to get. Inventory space, limited. Mm hmm The government of Spain on why they're dumping all their platinum into the Atlantic. <laughs> this nest? Uh, sulfur bubbles. Hmm. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, no, those are those are vents. Those are like sulfuric vents. Do I need any more crystal and sulfur? <laughs> on how geology works even slightly. It's space oh, sulfur. I, I've, I've, we can see the walk cycle via your shadow. I would love, yeah, that's a good point. Because what she does with her arms is extravagant. Okay, it's not as insane as I feared. But it's all in the elbow. Her torso's too gyroscopically balanced. She's a fucking mech. She's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of all in the elbow. She crooks her elbow and then it's all in the shoulder. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, there's there's a little there's a little bit of a wrist in there too, I think. That's hard to tell. Why but is none of it is like a coordinated movement. Hello? Is it a creature? What is this? Oh no, it's just a... I actually truly don't know what that is. This is a big pooping. It's a caged animal. This... I don't recall this being here the last time I played this. Yeah, I don't either. 
And I also am weirded out that I can't scan it at all. Is that a battery? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Let's drink a water. They said this was useless. I thought I was going to be able to put coffee in it, but it does not seem to be the case. Um, of course, why would you only pour a liquid into it? I don't know, every time I synthesize container. a liquid, it just um, also synthesizes its own container. Oh, oh like this is where I couldn't get into get before. More. Neat. <sighs> well, I will leave you guys to it. Oh, I should I need stop. To go, I need to go watch some Rick and or Morty. Need? Gross. I'm contractually obligated. Is there a crouch button? I yes. think so. I actually don't know if there is. I thought there was in Subnautica, at least. You spend so little time on land. Move down is not really working. Huh. Yeah, I guess you can't crouch. That's very cool. Wow. Very funny and very good. Not allowed to bend your legs. Oh, there's like good sh there's shit in there. Can you get around? Is it showing me a thing that I could do? If only I applied myself. <laughs> <laughs> Have we done it? Am I in the process of doing it? This is not looking good. Oh well. Okay, I think that's about all we're gonna find on this island. Although, let me before I leave, double check that. Uh, the caves resembling Deep Rock Galactic. I see stairways resembling Paradise Killer. It's everything we've done is just going to resemble everything, something we've already done before. Hmm. I mean, minus the happy, or sorry, minus the sad anime music and minus Transit Perdition. What a crazy song. Can you even call that a song? No, it's atmosphere. I'm, it's a I'm, vibe. It is a I'm, vibe. I'm crazy ass enough to call it a song, but can he really, you know? No. Okay, so if Wit's brother was here today, he would say <laughs> that a song... Like he's dead. Uh, that a song has to have today. Uh, singing in it for it to be a song. A song needs vocals. A piece uh, is any piece of music. Unless it's very specifically delineated as a song without words. Which is a thing I mean, that some composers call it, and it's like something very lyrical that sounds as if it could be sung. But, um... Alas, it is not. Yes. <laughs> That I mean, like the voices. Music the voice would say, so I must categorically disagree with it. I mean, the voices in my head internally scream whenever I put that <laughs> down on for myself. So, does that count as singing? I don't think yes. so. Sure. If you, There's if, proper it, genre it's, for that. Singing isn't an action; it's a state of mind. <laughs> Oh, that must be Outpost Zero, and Kappa must be the fake one. What, did somebody um, copyright the word Definitely Kappa? Not. Definitely not what Kappa looks like. They call it- They, they mined Copper there, and it was Site K, so they had to like portmanteau Kappa and Copper. They call it Kappa, right? Or Copper, right? Is that for poop? Is that what you're going for? Could be. It sounds like something he would do. I, I don't think that's a pigeon or a dove. I think that's a brown thrasher. I want one of those. I don't think I don't think those make cooing noises. I I'm not looking for it for the noises. Oh boy. I think there was something more I could do at this tower. You did hear a audio log saying that he got it up and running. Yeah. And no, I just... he was a morning dove. 
Uh. Oh yeah, they can get quite brown looking. Do it. Do the thing. Both buttons appear grayed out. I got the status report. I thought I could then put it in test mode. Okay, we're gonna do this real fast. Real fast, real fast. Fast, 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 fast. Before you freeze, we'll tuck us off. I have to build a test override module. I don't know what that is. Whee! Ooh, I broke an ankle. That's why God gave you two. <laughs> you just rolled it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> test. So now it's gonna override. Hurt for six months. Well, yeah, for real. These are not the SAT scores you were looking for. Is this just a hot flower that's like, hey, company, I'll keep you warm? It is a hot, yes. To be cool. honest, yes. You weren't here Everyone for... needs a friend like that in their friend group. To you be the flower? That radiates heat. Yeah, oh, Alpha. Uh, okay, let me get some lighter fluid. The alpha thinks it looks like it would be good toilet paper. Hmm. I've never wiped my ass with something that was anything other than room temperature. So, like, I can see that being extremely luxurious, like a heated Just butt rag. Are you are you saying you don't refrigerate your wipes? Oh my god. <laughs> Pull them straight out of the freezer. <laughs> I mean, how else? How else? Your wet wipes extracted from the frozen rocks. block. I mean, how else? <laughs> how else do you deal with the heat rash, though? Uh, all right, this is awful. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> wow, we found something fucking gross silver out. That's pretty impressive. I, I win. I am the uh... worst friend now. <laughs> All right, may you all reach the moon. Really got under and skin. <laughs> I'm gonna it's fuck off now. Tidwanks are hard to come by. Hey. Something something sixty nine. I love how even in the future they keep inventing stupider executive toys. And none of them resemble anything you'd shove up an ass, except for those uh, floating balls of steel. What? No, you absolutely would not. There's no flared base there. Very dangerous. Highly unsafe. I mean, you may not. You, listen, you can do anything once. <laughs> it depends on what you're willing to pay for in the emergency room. Alright. Oh, I can't even take this because my inventory is full, but I honestly kind of don't want to because it's boring. Okay. <laughs> There's some. Bless you. My sneeze button is just grabbing my microphone and hoping it muffles it enough. Is there somewhere you can swan dive from to get back to the pod? Inspirational uh, yes. poster would be like 300 years old. Yeah, I can't remember what year this is supposed to be, but uh, yeah, it would be. It's a little out of date. Kids, don't try this at home. Yeah. What, vomiting? Vomiting or this. Uh, I'm not going to do this because that's not water. Sure it is. <laughs> no, it's a, it's you can't. A, a hardened, me once, shame on me. It's, <laughs> it's a hardened state of water, but it's still water. I think it's some of this is... It's a quantum superposition of being simultaneously water and not water. I think some it's of water. this is rock. And even I know that that's not water. Is water wet? First no. cock with rock. Maximum pain you must endure. Oh jeez, if you got hurt off of that short little fall. Yeah, th I think that would probably be uh, a death state. Alright, back out. Oh, smoking groin again. Death state? What, what is that, like the final boss of anarchists? Uh, that's water. You think I can thread the needle? Yes. Turn a little more left, though, before you do it. There you go, that should do. Oh yeah, you're gonna make it. Oh! oh shit! <laughs> I hit my butt. But I'm okay. Oh. 
Probably broke the tailbone. That's not somewhere you want to have the wind knocked out of you. <laughs> Before landing in the water. Yeah, that was no good. Oh, what are you? I mean, you got a scuba tank. That raises a question. So, yes. what happens with those scuba divers when they fart in their suit? Uh, depends on what kind of suit it is. It also depends on what's been ingested prior. <laughs> they, they you just, don't want to be. You don't. Thick enough suit, and they just they just get a bubble stuck in there. Well, so you've got wetsuits and dry suits, and one of them is much more uh, sealed than the other. Well, never mind that. If you eat enough eggs, the ammonia will kill you. Excuse me, sir. Can I take your picture? Well. In that case, all you have to do is bury it in the Arctic Circle for six months, and then come back to it, and you can eat it. Yeah. Uh, he didn't like that I took his picture. Well, then may I suggest you get out of Dodge? These make the loudest noises. You can hear them from so far away. And they always sound like they're right on top of you. Is this something I can scan? Excellent. Is that a crash fish? You, you might see your... The... Oh, lithium is so valuable. I can almost never find it. Help, 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 help computer. Help computer. Okay. Where'd I put it? There it is. Wow, now you can make yourself a spicy pillow. <laughs> I don't know this, what that uh, means. This tweet is... This this tweet I feel, it says, Sir, if you thirst followed me, and are now dealing with how I am. <laughs> hey, a rock spicy puncher. Spicy pillow is when a lithium-ion battery, particularly the flat, like, square kind, uh, starts to puff up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I now know what you mean. Because if it gets punctured, <laughs> it oh, gets so real spicy. Oh, I forgot that I'm underwater. Because you see, kids, the inside of that battery is pyrophoric, which means it ignites on contact with air. And that's where I live. And you can't put it out. You just have to wait for it to exhaust itself. You just have to wait for it to exhaust itself, and it burns very hot. Well, technically, you can put it out with a class, um, it's a class D fire extinguisher. Is that one of the ones uh, that nobody has? That's the one that nobody has, because they're ridiculously expensive, and also, they're kind of just salt shakers. Can't you just swallow it and let the stomach acid put it out? Uh, once. Um, no, actually, because it'll just reignite upon contact with air. You're saying the solution to every problem is not to swallow it? I am saying that, yes. Mm. Heretical as it may be. Too bad, because you can get a lot of things done by swallowing. Eyes what, narrow. How much longer do you question this? I'm, um going back to that pod, so 228 meters. Oh well, yeah, I'm overdue for dessert, aren't I? Yes, you are. Hmm. Um, I am willing to continue this if you are uh, willing to continue holding my hand while I do it, Alpha. I'm good with that. Well, I gotta go get my brother, so... Thank you for joining us. I will not expect you to join us again because I know you were just taking the night off. Um, but it was lovely to have you. And you as well, Uzi. This was a nice surprise. Yeah, thank you for coming. It was a surprise to me too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. A stream. I, um, I might come back next Thursday. I haven't decided if I'm going to continue the weird ass schedule I got going or not because it didn't. Proved me very fruitful, but then someone pointed out it's Memorial Day weekend, so who fucking knows? Yeah, it's a bad test case. True. Well, whoever we see, we see. 
It'll be lovely to have you. Uh, the more people to make me feel brave, the better. Um, with all of that said, I believe we are done here. Um, I have been wit. Beggars can absolutely be dildos. <laughs> have a lovely and don't night. Let, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, 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 okay.